I am joined by uh, uh, somebody who was uh, considering to be a uh, you know, possible candidate, finally uh, uh, you know, deciding against it even though you know, your intention was very clear and uh, very nicely tweeted about uh, the, the late uh, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee. What was the reason uh, for you not deciding well, to go ahead? Essentially, the Congress needs to come together. Mr. Malikarjun Kharge is a senior leader of the party. So he reached out to me and requested me to support his nomination. And I think in the spirit of uh, consensus and unanimity, given the challenges that we have uh, been confronting, it is appropriate that the party should close ranks. And you saw Mr. Digvijay Singh, who had taken his uh, nomination papers, who had taken his nomination papers, you know, deciding to become proposer. Mr. Ashok Gehlot, who was uh, also, you know, tipped to be the probable candidate. You know, you've seen everybody come together. So the issue, of course, remains. Uh, about you know Mr. Kargis age and you know you, the Congress party today uh, if there's anything that has been something to learn it is about you know youngsters and he at 80 uh, does not uh, really and you know the, and also the big question about the Gandhi's blessings that you know they remain equidistant but they, they are giving their blessings in and how is the party going to go forward you know Rahul Gandhi says one thing and actually doesn't really be, believe uh, or Mrs. Gandhi doesn't believe in what they actually say Sunil, uh, the, we are an intergenerational party and so therefore there is a certain respect for age uh, which is there in intergenerational parties and what you are seeing today is actually uh, that respect for age coming forth and that does not mean that the youth would be neglected. So here you have it, uh, Mr. Manish Tiwari explaining uh, his position about uh, why uh, he did not decide uh, to contest uh, and uh, that is the reason uh, for why he bowed out.